Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. I know I've been a little MIA from YouTube, but I just have been so crazy busy with so much going on, but I'm excited to be back and I'm excited to be doing this makeup tutorial for you guys today. This look is something that I did for a photo shoot not too long ago. I had posted it on my Snapchat and you guys went crazy and you guys wanted me to recreate this look and show you guys how to do it. So of course I had to come through and before before we get this tutorial started, I just wanted to disclose that this video is in partnership with Neutrogena. I'm so excited to be partnering with them for this video because as you guys know, I am obsessed with these makeup wipes. These are my go-to. You guys see them all over my Snapchat, all over my Instagram. This is the only thing that I use when I take off my makeup at night. Not only is it a great makeup remover, but it is also a really amazing tool to clean up any makeup mistakes so that you're not having to like start all over or anything like that. Overall, these babies just make my life so much easier and I would not be able to live without them. So thank you so much, Neutrogena. And if you guys want to see how to achieve this pinky, purpley, smoky, ultra glam look, keep watching this video. So for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna start with my eyes. I feel like I normally start with skin and foundation, but since I do plan on using some more color, for this tutorial, I just want to be able to easily clean it up in case there's any fallout. I'm gonna use this palette from this brand called Pinky Rose. This is the Pink Paradise palette. I have really been loving it and I've been loving being able to use like different tones of like pinks and purples, which is kind of like my inspiration for this look today. The palette looks like that. All of the shadows blend really, really beautifully and there's a good combination between mattes and shimmers in this palette, so let's get started. I'm gonna prime my eyes using a little bit of shape tape and I'm just gonna take a light shade and I'm literally just gonna take my finger and just start to just blend this all over my eyelid. And you wanna be mindful that you're getting like in that inner corner as well as throughout and the outer corner. I feel like I more most recently started using Shape Tape as an eyeshadow base, but I really like the dry down of the actual concealer, and I just really find that it just holds the shadow a lot better. So if you kind of go all over the place like I did, it's totally okay because, like I said, we're gonna still add foundation and we're still gonna clean it up if we need to. All right, so now I am going to start with a blending brush. This is the Featherweight Crease Pro Brush from Sephora. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right over here. It's like a light salmon-y kind of light brown shade. It is a matte shade. And we're just gonna place this all over the crease. And this is just gonna start to contour our eyes. And I do want this makeup to kind of pull out a little bit more rather than in kind of being rounded around the corners of my eyes. So I am also gonna kind of drag it out to the outer corner of my eyes. Just so you guys understand the difference of what I'm talking about, as opposed to rounding it on the outer corner like I normally would, I'm actually gonna pull it straight out almost like diagonally. Just like so. Now that I've placed the color more or less where I want it, I'm gonna use this synthetic blending brush from Morphe just to kind of finish, giving it a nice blend. And I'm mainly just kind of blending out the edges. Okay, so now we're gonna deepen up the crease. I'm gonna go in with this kind of pinky shade right over here. And we're just gonna start to add this in the crease to deepen it up just a little bit. And I'm mainly kind of gonna add this color right in the outer corner. I'm not gonna take it all the way in the crease. And just to give it a little more depth, I'm also gonna go in with this matte purple shade right in here, which is a little bit deeper. And again, I'm just gonna add this on the outer corner of my eyes. So before I move on, I want to kind of clean up underneath my eyes to kind of get a better idea of what everything's looking like. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Remover Cleansing Tablets from Neutrogena. Again, I'm obsessed with these. These are my go-to for removing my makeup, for just kind of having a clean start for makeup, but they are also really amazing with just cleaning up little makeup mishaps, specifically, you know, like fallout. So I'm just gonna take a little wipe and I'm just going to start to clean up. That way you just get a better idea of the shape that the shadow is actually taking and what it'll ultimately look like. 
These are super easy to use. I literally just kind of wrap it around my pointer finger and I just kind of use that to create the edge that I want. Just make sure it's even, of course. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna use this to kind of buff out the edges. So before I apply my eyelid color, I'm going to deepen up my crease with this shade called Vamp. This is from my Tardis Pro Palette and it's this shade right in here, which is just like a deeper smoked purple. And I'm gonna take this on a MAC 224 and I'm lightly just gonna add this on the outer corner of my eyes. Okay, and in doing that last step, I did get some more fallout. So again, I'm just gonna go in with my Neutrogena Makeup Wipe and make sure that that edge is nice and clean. And for my lid, I'm going to use this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I love all of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows because they just have such a beautiful, intense color pigment and payoff. This one is in the shade Summer Lovin'. I use this pretty often and I love it because it's such a pretty champagne-y, neutrally blush pink. So I literally am just picking it up on my finger. This can have a little bit of fallout, so I am glad that we're doing this before we actually have our face on. But I'm literally just going to take it and start to just kind of apply it on my lid. So pretty. And I'm just gonna basically place this on the inner corner of my eye. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like some fallout happening in here. That's mainly because the way that these are made, there's a lot of pearls in them. So with pearls, I find that when I try to use these with the brush, then there's extra fallout. So with the warmth of the finger, it just allows it to just kind of adhere and stick a little bit better. I like to use like a pressing padding motion. And before we apply like our skincare and our foundation, I'm going to take one more of my Neutrogena wipes and I'm just going to get this fallout that happened right in the inner corner. That way our skin and foundation isn't looking a little sparkly. <laughs> Unless you're into that. So for my skin today, I'm gonna start off with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Serum. You guys have heard me talk about this Hydro Boost line from Neutrogena on my channel before. I go back and forth between the serum and the moisturizer. Um, whenever I feel like my skin is a little extra dry, I like to go in with the serum. So for example, like today I shaved my face, so my skin does feel a little bit more tight and it does feel a little bit more dry. So having that serum just kind of penetrates into my pores a little bit more for intense hydration. And I really like to take that under my eyes too because it really makes them feel nice and smooth, super nice and hydrated. And for my foundation today, I'm gonna use this Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation, and this is in the shade 50. I'm going to pump some on the back of my hand. I know this is probably a waste because I'm going to apply it with the Beauty Blender. With this type of foundation, you might wanna actually just apply it with your fingers because the Beauty Blender does tend to soak up more of this product, but I just can't get away from using the Beauty Blender. I used this foundation for the first time when I was in Miami and I absolutely loved it. I love the coverage that it gives. I love the actual shade. I thought the shade match was pretty spot on for me. And I just love the finish that this foundation gives my skin. And for my concealer today, I am gonna go in with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealer. I use these in my full face drugstore makeup tutorial and I absolutely fell in love with them. So I figured I would use them again. Um, I actually threw a couple in my makeup bag, so I've actually been using them when I travel. This shade that I'm using is shade light. It is a little bit lighter for under my eye area, but I am kind of using this more to highlight my face. So I'm just gonna place this everywhere that I would normally just highlight my face. And you guys, these are so creamy, so hydrating, so smooth. You guys know I love Shape Tape Concealer, and I feel like if Shape Tape was as hydrating as this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealer, 
it would be game over. <laughs> But I definitely have to say that the fact that these have that hyaluronic acid in them and it really does help with hydrating the skin, it, it really is a game changer. And I think that that really is why these concealers just perform so well. So now I'm gonna go in with another beauty blender and just start to stipple this out. And you guys can see like how smooth that looks underneath my eyes. All right, and to start to add a little bit of contour, I am going to use my Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Tan. And we're gonna use the contour stick side. I'm just gonna start to lay down my contour where I want it, just like that. I'm gonna take the bottom of my Beauty Blender and then just start to stipple this away too. Also gonna do the forehead. For my forehead, I find myself having to go back and forth between like the highlighting and the contouring. So I switch back and forth with the beauty blenders that I use for those areas, just to make sure that it's nice and blended. All right, so now we are going to set the under eye area and I'm going to use my RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm just gonna apply this with a beauty blender as well. Make sure there's no creases under there first. And then, stipple that baby on. And you can do this with a brush for this particular makeup tutorial. I'm using the beauty blender because since the foundation in the concealer is a little bit more creamier, I really, really want it to set. So that's why I'm just kind of pressing it in with a beauty blender. And we're also gonna apply a little bit right on the forehead as well. Now you should be looking something like this. For my brows, I wanna keep them a little bit more just kind of natural looking. I don't wanna define them too much. So I'm just gonna come through them with a spoolie just to kind of lay them flat. And we're just gonna add a little bit of brow powder where I need it. I'm gonna go in with this MAC Brunette Powder and I'm gonna just use a really stiff angle brush. And again, I'm just gonna go across the top where my brows are a little bit thinner just to give them a little bit of body. Now that I've filled in my brows, I'm gonna go in with this Gimme Brow from Benefit. And this is in shade five. And this is just gonna just kind of make my brows stay in place. It also has fibers, so it's gonna make them look a little bit more fuller and thicker. Now I'm just gonna take this NYX flat brush. This is brush number 10. And I'm just gonna take a light purple eyeshadow and just start to run this underneath my lash line. This will just help to really kind of pull everything together and frame it and make it look great. And with this brush, since it is flat, it's really easy for you to get under your lash line. All you have to do is literally just wiggle the brush side to side, side to side, and it just creates a really beautiful wash of color underneath the lash line. And I'm also going to connect the outer corner of my eye with the bottom. So with my flat brush, I'm just going to connect it right in there where we created that sharp edge. And then just kind of give that a nice little blend so that it just looks a little bit more connected and a little bit more softer, if you will. Okay, so I'm gonna dust off my highlight and then apply my lashes and mascara, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I applied my lashes off camera. I decided to do a pair that kind of looked a little bit more wispy, and then I also did a little bit of mascara. You guys know my go-to for my bottom lashes is this MAC Extended Play Mascara. And then I also added a little bit of liner at the top and the bottom. I used my NYX Cosmetics Slide On Glide On Pencil in the shade Gunmetal. And I feel like, obviously, adding lashes, mascara, and liner really enhances and pulls the eyes together, which is exactly what I wanted. Now we are gonna go ahead and move on to a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the shade Medium Tan. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of lightly buff over the areas that we contoured, like my forehead and then obviously my cheeks. And I'm just gonna use this Sonia Kashuk brush that I cannot seem to give up that I got at Target. And I'm just gonna start to buff this in the hollows of my cheek. And on my forehead. 
Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of that RCMA no color powder with my beauty blender just to clean up under my contour. How to give us a little bit more definition. This step to me, you guys, makes such a huge difference. All right, and I'm just gonna let that kind of simmer and do its thing while I move on to a little bit of highlight and a little bit of nose contouring. Let's actually do the nose contour first. I'm gonna use my Hoola Bronzer. This is from Benefit, and I'm gonna use my JD Weighty 180 Nose Contour Brush. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this bronzer with the more fluffy side, and I'm just gonna start to drag this on the sides of my nose just to make sure that we snatch it up. And I almost like to do this like in a small kind of like light tapping motion just to kind of actually place the color and then I'll just kind of clean it off on something and I'll go back and then I'll actually start to blend it out a little bit more. And if it looks a little harsh, it's totally okay because we're going to clean it up anyway. So don't freak out if it's a little too much color. You can already see it snatching up. And we're also gonna add some of that hula on the tip of my nose to make her look nice and pinch, nice and lifted. All right, and I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender with that RCMA No Color Powder and we're just gonna start to lightly just press it on the side of the nose just to kind of soften up that contour. And that's what really gives us the illusion of like a super, super contoured nose without it looking like super dark and dramatic and crazy. You wanna make sure that the lines that you create though are super, super, super parallel so that your nose isn't looking not straight. All right, so now while that's kind of baking, and doing its thing, I'm gonna go in and highlight. I'm gonna use the brand new Dose of Colors Desi and Katie highlighter. This is in the shade Fuego. Can we just take a minute though? This packaging, Dose absolutely killed it. I am obsessed, I think this is so beautiful. I actually don't even wanna touch it because it's so pretty. Like I just wanna keep it as like a collector's item, but I have to, have to, have to use it. And I'm just gonna start to dust this on like the higher, parts of my cheek. Wow, that's so pretty. It's a really beautiful like golden, like a golden tone. Oh my gosh, can you guys see how it picks that up on camera? And I literally like to just layer it like layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of more it is absolutely stunning you guys killed it with this and it blends really nicely i find that sometimes highlighters just tend to kind of go on and look a little streaky and it's a little bit harder to blend but these like even with me layering so much product on top of each other it is blending nicely like it's not uh skipping it's not looking like streaky like it blends really really beautifully on my skin so i definitely 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 can appreciate that and i'm also going to apply a little bit just right in here you guys know i love a nice little forehead highlight just like so okay cool now, to highlight the bridge of my nose, I'm actually gonna use a NARS highlighter. This is the NARS highlighting trio. I'm gonna take the lightest shade in this trio. You guys can see I've been uh, using it a lot, but I'm gonna take this lightest shade right in here. The reason that I'm not gonna use the Desi Kitty highlighter is because it's a little bit more golden and I kind of want my nose highlight to look a little bit cooler, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna take some right in here, right at the top of that highlight and then I'm also just gonna take it a little bit right on the tip of the nose. So I used to bring my highlight all the way down. I actually learned this trick from Jade. It actually makes your nose look a little bit longer so with only highlighting like right at the top and then just right at the tip, it almost makes it look a little bit more shorter and a little bit more pinched up. So I've been kind of obsessed with doing that and literally just again like I said, 
highlighting the tip and then just highlighting right in here. Sometimes just the tip is okay. And I'm also gonna take some of that highlighter and just use it right in the inner corners of my eyes. And before we dust off all of this bake going on, I'm gonna go in with this lipstick. This is also from the Desi Katie collection. This one is in the shade No Shade. I've actually been using it a lot this weekend. I love it so much. This color is literally so up my alley. And it's super creamy. And I love that it's more peachy than anything. It does have like a nice peach undertone. So it just makes my lips look nude, but not like, like just bit into a powdered donut nude, if you guys know what I mean. So for my lip gloss today, I'm gonna use this Neutrogena Hydrating Lip Shine. This is in the shade Pink Sorbet. It's a beautiful light pink, and I thought that it would be perfect with this eye look. And it is super, super, super hydrating and super, super glossy and shiny. So I'm just gonna layer it over the lipstick. And can I just say how obsessed I am with this applicator? I'm gonna show you guys. It looks like this. It looks like a little gumdrop, if you will. And I love it because it's nice and big. So it covers a lot of your lip. So when you're applying the lip gloss, you're not... I just hate when it looks like small wands. I love when a wand is a little bit bigger because it just is a nice smooth application over the lips. And this kind of baby pink gloss over this lipstick I think is just like the most perfect combination and I like that the gloss doesn't feel too sticky either I love when glosses are more lightweight okay so now I'm just gonna dust off all of this baking that we had going on and the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my face with this pixie makeup fixing mist it has like rose water and green tea, so it just, it's really great for your skin. Super, super hydrating. Of course, I drench my face in it. What's new? I'm just gonna kinda let that set and do its thing. All right, guys, that pretty much completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. I promise you guys I'm gonna start to incorporate a lot more drugstore products into my makeup tutorials because, again, I want to be able to give you guys a good balance between like higher end and lower end. And you guys went so crazy with this look on my Snapchat, so I absolutely had to recreate it for you guys. Before you guys go, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below, and let me know what you guys thought about this look and let me know what you guys want to see next. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, follow me on my Instagram and on my Snapchat, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.